and welcome back to Music Free Gaming. I hope you're having a fabulous day today, this lovely and beautiful Tuesday. And I hope that you are lovely and beautiful too. No matter what else anybody says, you are lovely and beautiful. There's no, there's no hope about it. I know it. You know it. Let's just get that all out on the table right now. We good? We good. All right. Sweet. Glad we can... Glad we could have this talk, you know, good talk. All right, <laughs> let's uh, <laughs> let's get started. Um, I'm gonna jump over and I'm gonna be playing Minecraft today, but I'm starting a new series because of those of you who watched the last series know the hardcore series came to a very abrupt end. So <laughs> let's jump over here and uh, gameplay, there we go. And I'll uh, start recording for a video and explain exactly uh, what all is going on. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun, I think. And welcome back to Music Free Gaming. I hope you're having a fabulous day. And today I am in my new home. See, with all the stress of the hardcore ser series and you know, getting stabbed in the back by a Vindicator, I figured it's time to take a little bit of a break. And, you know, do something simple. Like, maybe take up farming. And this is my home. Or what will be my home once I finish getting moved in. That's right. I am going to take up the farmer's life. But you might notice things are a little different here. Yes, different is a thing. It's totally a thing. <clears throat> so, here's the deal. Yes, I'm going to be a farmer, but I thought what might be fun would be to take the Farmer's Delight mod pack, which has something like 90 some odd different types of foods, and automate them. Make them all using the Create mod. So, with... Farmer's Delight, Create Mod, cremate, create, Slice and Dice, not Cremate, Slice and Dice, that's an entirely different series, and actually one fairly suited for Halloween. But no, we're going to, over the next uh, several months, I'm sure, based off of this village, or out of this village, open up a nice little restaurant, and have ourselves a great menu of all the things. Ah, okay. Hey, Hero Brian, welcome back. So yeah, so that's the idea. Um, so, like any good Minecraft world, step one is to punch trees. And maybe get some food. Because I am lacking in that. <gasps> Why am I in creative mode? <sighs> okay. I wasn't supposed to be in creative mode, and now I'm punished for it. <laughs> oh, there's there's got to be a craft. Well, if there isn't a crafting table around here somewhere, I can get one. What do we have over here? We've got what do we have? Beetroots, wheat, potatoes. Oh, excellent! All the good stuff. Good, because I'm going to need all that stuff. Also, we've got apparently pigs and sheep, which is also going to be awesome. So. Let's go punch some trees and figure out what's going on here. <laughs> ah. Oops. You did what? You did mod? Okay. Ah. Again, the, the pain and suffering of starting a new series without having uh, all of the super-powered tools from the last one. Okay. Grab ourselves a crafting table. All right. Um, Minecraft mode. Okay. Grab a few of those, and let's grab an axe. Oh, I should probably grab a pickaxe, too. Okay. 
All right, let's grab a couple of trees here and just see what we got. Okay, yep. The uh, creative snafu. Ooh, bamboo, perfect. <clears throat> see, one of the areas reasons I picked this area is that it was really close to things like a jungle where there's lots of bamboo for scaffolding and, you know, plenty of trees for all the other goodness that I'm sure I'm going to need. Plus, I just thought this hill looked really cool over here. So this is going to be nice. Got a nice river going on where I can get fish for all the happy fish dishes I need to craft up. And I think uh, it's also going to be a really nice place to get started getting all of the uh, happy resources we got going on. So I just need to figure out where I want to actually start all of my diggy diggy. Also, let's uh, <clears throat> get some bread here, shall we? Meat and bread. Not the most filling of foods, but better than nothing. Okay. Hi. Do you have anything interesting? Yeah, what I should do, just to be sure they don't accidentally get picked and gotten rid of, is let's be sure I get the beetroot seeds, um, potatoes, okay. Wheat is not going to be an issue, but we'll get some anyway, just to be sure. Okay, yep, there it is, a seedy place. And, ooh, yeah. Doing okay over there, dude? All right, cool. All right, <clears throat> nice. So that's at least... Some of the foods I'm going, or some of the things I'm going to need for making foods and stuff later. Now, what would be nice is if I had a, well, if I had a chest, I can arrange that, I suppose. Let's go ahead and grab a chest. All right, well, apparently he's going to live there. All right, cool. And we'll just uh, offload some of this stuff so that I can get to it later. <sighs> All right, let's figure out now where I want to go diggy diggy. Yes, yeah, so there's lots of good stuff. Create Mod adds all sorts of fun new resources, but... Oh, as usual, the first things I'm going to need are... Well, stone. Oh, I'm going to need that crafting table, too. I'm going to need stone. I'm going to need iron. I guess I can just craft into the crafting table. We'll leave that one there. Stone. I'm going to need iron. I'm going to need all sorts of other good stuff. So, um, do I want to start? Yeah, I'll start digging here. I'm not convinced this is where I need to go, but... It's a start. What would be lovely is if I had some uh, had some coal of some sort. That's what what I'm looking for. All right, let's grab some sticks. Okay, pickaxes. Grab a shovel. All right, nice. Now, oh, I should, should I bring a bed with me? I don't know. We'll, we'll keep digging and hopefully we'll find something down here worth, uh, worthwhile, but. Oh, that flint is actually going to be kind of useful. But again, I need the, uh, I need torches. It's copper. Copper is not torches. Um, I suppose I can go cut some more trees and get some charcoal, but I might have to. This is uh, not great. What is that? Oh, zinc. Right. Zinc is good. 
definitely gonna need some zinc. Um, I think I need iron though to get it out. Wow, this is. Hang on, let me just double check here. Options, video settings, brightness is it is on full bright. So. So yes, we could just deal with dark for a little bit. Um. All right, well, I've got enough stone. Let's set up a furnace. We'll uh, get a little bit more wood and we'll just do, uh, we'll just get some charcoal going because that I think is going to be really helpful. Furnace. Oh, let's, I'm just going to do it this way. This will be, I'm sure, not at all a problem. Okay. Cool, let's go get some... We'll cut some more trees down over here and hopefully, hopefully get the stuff I need. And this is the reason I decided to set up shop over here is plenty of trees. Lots of trees to get going here. Also, I should maybe think about replanting some of these trees. Maybe making a, uh, <laughs> a stone axe. Okay. Because, hey, I still have a crafting table. I can do that. Lovely. Okay. Oh. Don't you love early game? All the fun and excitement going on over here with the tree chopping goodness. Yeah, so this is going to be fun. It's, it's um, I've been sort of itching to get back into create mod a little bit, so so this is going to be be fun. Uh, for those of you who maybe missed it, I did a uh, I did a create mod series just before I started the hardcore one. And it was it was fun. I really liked it. Just dealing with some issues with that that were starting to annoy me. I said, all right, let's stop. We'll go do something else for a while. And now that uh, the hardcore series is done, spoiler alert, the hardcore series is done. <laughs> now that that's done, we can, uh, you know, I can come back and do a little more create mod. But I actually have distinct goals here rather than, oh yeah, let's just play with this mod and see what else we got going on. Ooh, apples are good. Yeah, see, this is going to be real important because you look at, oops, not, it's not the right button. F farmers, right? Look at all of these different foods things. And crates and other good stuff. But look at all this good stuff. So yeah, there's a lot of food here that I need to be able to automate and cook, you know? Okay, so... I suppose I should replant the... But yeah, many of those foods are, in fact... Apple eat foods, so definitely want to keep those going. All right, but I think I've got enough logs. Well, I've got enough logs to get started anyway. Hopefully, I'll find some some more charcoal. The one problem with starting down here at sea level is that I'm starting down here at sea level, and. <laughs> There isn't quite as much coal around, you know? All right. So, let's see now. Furnace time. Okay, and let's go ahead and cook that up. And cook that up. Let's get ourselves some charcoal. Perfect. 
Now, let's see. So what else do I want? Is there anything I want to do while I'm waiting for this? I don't think so. We're just going to let this, uh, we're going to let this cook. And um, I suppose I can grab a couple of torches. I do want to light this little cave up just a touch, you know. All right. Now, as I said, I need iron. What I, what I actually should do, I should lock a few villagers in their houses. That's what I should do. Sorry, I know I'm lost. I, I'm back and forth between what do I want to do? Um, I am going to need a villager breeder, and I'm going to need um, an iron farm. So it'd be nice to get those taken care of really quick. But I think what I want to do is put the... Do I want to put the breeder up here? Iron farm up here or both? It's hard to say. It's really hard to say. This is kind of far up here, though. Ooh, look at this. Wild carrots, huh? Okay, only three carrots. Nice. Hello, horse. Yeah, see, there's a nice area up here, too, which I, I really like. Um, oh. I haven't taken a look in, up here to see if uh, there's anything worth pillaging in these. Ooh, some bread. Ooh, onions. Wonderful. Crops of the wild. Cool. Some nuggets, some apples, some more potatoes. Okay, that's all great. Actually, I should just take that chest, too. Okay. And stone cutter. Okay, stone cutter is good. All right, yeah, see, there's all sorts of good, good space up here, actually, now that I'm... Oh, actually, this carrot is really nice. So I should actually explain this a little bit. Um, where, where did I find those? Where did I find the wild carrots? Okay. So one of the things that Farmer's Delight adds is a bunch of these wild veggies, right? These are wild carrots. And I can get carrots from them, which is awesome because carrots were one of the veggies that I did not have down in the farm here. So I think I actually have between what was in the farm and those wild carrots, all of the Minecraft veggies, the, the vanilla Minecraft veggies, which is great. So I can set up all of that. Can't craft with carrots. I can set up all of those. I also found some onions in one of the chests up there. I know onions, right? Who would want onions? Well, it turns out I want onions because onions are delicious, but also, you know, look at all of these different foods and onions. You can craft into like steak and potatoes and shepherd's pie and roast chicken, right? You can make crates of onions and mutton wraps and what about hamburgers, right? So, Onions are going to be great. Barbecue on a stick. I mean, who does? I love barbecue. So, yeah, we definitely need all of those things. And there are a bunch of other veggies that we'll be, we'll be able to find. So, oh, it's, it's a new and exciting world. But I think I still need to trap a few villagers in their homes so I can set up a nice breeder later. So, oh. Maybe I should do that as night falls, because that would make sense. <laughs> All right, let's check on the... Cool. All right, so I think we'll just let a little bit more of that cook, which is going to be great. All right. 
so now let's see. Oh, you know what? Ah, darn it. So I was just thinking, you know what I should do is just trap that guy in his house. Not my house. I, I kind of need to, to get into it, but if I could trap a couple of these villagers. See, I, I would really prefer to trap them up top. But, oh, there's another house over here, too. So, and part of the reason I like to trap them up there is because I think that is kind of where I want to put the villager breeder. But, oh, look at this. I didn't even know this was here. Cool. I came over here just, just enough to kind of get a look at what all's... What all's happening in this village? What's the landscape around about? We, we all good there? And yeah, this is all looking nice. So, but yes, it's going to be a, a pain to get villagers in and out of things here, but. Ooh, tomato seeds, wonderful. It's a good thing I'm raiding these houses because I could actually really use those seeds. Okay. Cool. There's some coal, which is great. Um, it's not iron, but iron, I think I'm going to have to be a little bit lower if I want to get to it. Oh, man. So yeah, a lot of the early game isn't going to be that much different from any uh, any other type of you know you know vanilla Minecraft start type dealy bob. Oh, lots of coal. This is great. Oh, this is fabulous. Holy coaly, Batman! Okay, I've got twenty of them. I am kind of missing fortune tools, but but yes, I, I'm going to need a villager breeder because I do want a trading hall. I don't think I'm going to go th for anything quite as elaborate as what I had in um, in the hardcore series, but uh, I am going to want a few. I'm going to want a few librarians, one so I can get glass, though actually with create mod. Um, I could just generate glass. I can create a factory for glass. Uh, but also to get some of those nice tools like fortune and silk touch and that type of thing. So, because uh, honestly, they're just really helpful. Uh, okay, so in case you were really wondering, it's modded. Yep, there is deep slate at Y73. Okay, but villagers, villagers, villagers. What I might have to do, oh, getting them up there is going to be a pain. What I might actually have to do is just do all of the, uh, do the trading hall or do the villager breeder down here. Figure out. Actually, that may not be a may not be a bad idea. Do the villager breeder down here. I also need to set up an iron farm. I can do some of that with create, obviously, but a vanilla iron farm is just so good. Ooh, wild onions. Wonderful. Okay. So the good news is we're getting all the fruits and veggies. All right. So where the heck do, how the heck do I want to do an iron farm? These are difficult questions that I do not have answers to. Ah, but I have tomato seeds. And, and you know, allium, but tomato seeds. Okay, so let's... Let's keep digging. Um, we'll keep digging till night falls and then uh, I'll keep smashing my face against the stone. That's all good. 
Then I'll see if I can lock a few villagers into their homes and then figure out what I want to do for the villager breeder. Of course, the other thing I should be doing too. Huh. Okay. Let's let's check our priorities here for a minute. I do need the villagers in there, but I also am going to need all these pigs and sheep and stuff, right? I'm definitely going to need all of them and preferably all of them in nice little pens. I've got a cow. Cows are good. Let's see. Well, I can get some wheat. I know, I'm just all over the place. This is one of those days, like, could I have uh, figured out what I was going to be doing? Sure, I could have. Oh, we've got sheep in many colors. This is lovely. Um, I don't have a carrot on me, but that's okay. Come here, guys. You know, I think maybe what I'm going to do, let's, let's take all of you. And let's put you up in there. There is a nice little uh, empty pen up top here. So let's take a long walk up the mountain. Right? This seems like a, a fun plan, right? I think. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Come on, guys. We got this. We got this. Yeah, so the fun and craziness is uh, oops, falling off the hill. Come on. Let's go, team. That's right. We are multicultural with our sheep up this way. Come on, guys. I should also maybe bring some chickens with me. That's right. Come on, guys. We'll just move you in up here. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. Let's see if I can get this other chicken. Hi, come here, other chicken. That's right. All of you come. All right, this way. Come on. All right. What I'm gonna do? We'll just do this. We'll just slap a block in here. Come here, chicken. All right. Come on in, gang. We got ourselves some. That's right. All of you, come on in. Wonderful. Got ourselves a nice little place for all of these happy animals to live. Now, I do need um, some pigs, but fortunately, there were some wild carrots right over here. Cool, so let's go see if I can get some, uh, get a pig or two in here. Preferably two, because it's really hard to breed just one pig. It, uh, turns out it just annoys the pig. All right. Come on down. That's right. Come here, little piggy. That's right. We got this. We got ourselves a nice little piggy train. Oh, yeah. This is going to be great. Get them up the hill before it gets too dark. Well, okay. I can breed more pigs when I get up there. But I need to have at least two up on the up in the little pen up here. All right. So yeah, so if I were to, come on guys, that's right, we got this, we got this. Oh yeah, my mountain climbing piggies. Okay. Oh, in fact, I should, I could even bring this cow. Come here, cow. You wanna be in a pen for the rest of your life? All right. 
Hey, right, pig. Come on. You got, you got places to be here. All right. Perfect. Now I am going to need another cow. Oi, right, cow. Come here. I'm going to need another cow, but... But that's okay. We can... We can deal with that at another time. Where's the bed? There's a bed. Okay. <laughs> nice. Okay, so. Okay. We got mobs bursting into flames. That's excellent. Uh, where's my axe? Ow. I, I am slightly on fire. I would like to not be on fire, please. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a that's a, a dead zombie cuz dead zombies are good zombies. All right. All right. So now Oh, I only kind of wanted to sleep last, that night, but it's okay. It was it was two nights for me. All right, so let's figure out where the heck we're going to be putting this uh, villager breeder, huh? Anyway, let's put the extra veggies away so I don't accidentally uh, use them on something. All right, I think what I'm going to do is let's put the... Maybe I'll put the breeder over here. Yeah, this actually seems like a good place to begin. And, uh, maybe I can do some other fun things, but let us find out. So if I'm going to do a villager breeder over here, and theoretically I could then potentially have them drop this way, or I could do kind of like the idea of maybe setting up the trading hall over here, actually. Cool, so let's go ahead and dig this sucker out. So, now, it needs to be nine by nine. What I don't have is water. I don't have a bucket. Okay, for that, I need iron. Okay, that's fine. I can make that happen, I suppose. All right, so what I'm looking at is a nine block square place for villagers. I mean, there's water. There's water up here. Unfortunately, it doesn't. It does. I said I don't have a way of picking it up, but well, I suppose I could kill the iron golem. That, there's nothing at all wrong about that, right? Just stack up high enough and then... See, how do I get into that little space? There's got to be a way. There absolutely has to be a way. Okay, with this house. Actually, this might be a better spot for the breeder too. But I need to actually make a quick run to the restroom. I'll be back in just a moment.
Oh, man. So this has been a hard day for all of you. It's been a long day for me. Oh, and I am tired. It's making it a little bit harder than I'd like to get, get up all the energy I want to be be streaming and stuff here, but so I just had a wild idea. But yeah, if I were to put I could put the breeding hall your breeding hall. Yeah, the villager breeder here. And then I could drop the villagers down right this way. That should be good. And actually, it'll be a little bit nicer because, yeah, yeah, okay. I'll just get up here through the water column for the time being. Okay, so if I put the center of this, where is this? One, two, three, four. It's kind of sort of in this area. We'll figure that out in a minute. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. That puts this right there. Like that. One, two, three, four. That way, one, two, three. This way. Okay. And then I just have to fill this in. Okay. One, two, three, four. Cool. So we're going to come out this way. One, two, three, four. Just come out this way. Okay. Cool. We'll fill that in. And this is going to be our nice, happy uh, farmland. Okay. Not the most exciting, but the trick is going to be getting the villagers up here, which is... <sighs> it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Not impossible, of course, but a challenge nonetheless. Now, what I've done in, in other farms is I've... Oh, yeah, just made it so the, these beds are the only way to get up there, but... I may have to do that. Go clean out all of the beds and... Oh, yeah, so that... These villagers just come this way. Of course, I should also maybe uh, build a nice little staircase here, too. All right, where's the torch? Cool. Um, some sticks, grab some torches. Perfect. All right. Cool, so we'll just uh, slap a little bit of light here, just to be sure. One, just to be sure the crops all have the light that they need. Four, two, four, yeah. So this is gonna have to come out. Ah, some glow lichen. Be nice to get some shears and get that glow lichen too, but again, iron. I do not have it. Alright. So I think I think I can get this uh, farmer up this way. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some some fast work to get this uh, farmer up here. But for now, in fact, I'm just going to steal his uh, workbench right now. Come here. You're going to love this. Come on up this way. Yep, y y you see it, right? Or, you know, he doesn't, and that's totally a thing, too. Um, hi. Hi. You want to, uh, you want to come over here, right? See if I can get his attention. Hi! I have jobs here for you. Right? We, we good with the jobs? 
Yeah, see, here it is, right here. You want this job. You do. You know you do. It's a great job. You're going to love it. He's not going to love it. All right. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put this up here because th this is where it's ultimately going to go. And maybe this villager will uh, discover it and walk up here on his own. That's the hope and dream. Okay, let's just put a nice gap here. Hi, sheep. You're in the way. Hello, cats. You're kind of in the way. Ah, this is actually going to be nice. So if I were to cut through here, move the cat, and then uh, let's just bring a little bit of stair action this way. Cool. Now, if I'm really clever, I can get those villagers up there. But I need, I need iron. So, into the mine we go, because I need iron. Because I need a bucket. Oh, yeah. No, it's been a... It's been a heck of a day for me today. So I don't know what it's been like for you, but... I'm just... I'm kind of feeling it. Hey, Letitia! Welcome, welcome. Yours is okay. Well, that's excellent. Glad to hear that. <sighs> yep, Tuesdays are, are rough for me sometimes, because I've got... Uh, I go to... Uh, therapy on Tuesdays and it's some of those days are emotionally draining and this was definitely one of those am I doing light levels or dark cool <laughs> all right let's go down this way a little bit we'll just start to backtrack here and hopefully I'd really like to find a small iron vein or something or even a large iron vein i'd be okay with that too but yes welcome i've starting started a new series since the uh, hardcore series had a uh, rather dramatic end last week or on saturday i guess and i'm starting a new starting a new series where i have Start said I'm going to embrace the farmer life, and I'm going to grow a bunch of veggies, and I'm going to create a nice little uh, farm-to-table restaurant where I've got something like 90-something different recipes that I'm going to automate using the uh, Create Mod. So it's going to be all sorts of fun. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello. Um. Okay. Good news is, let's grab some of that. Because. Okay. Yep. Yeah, oh, mine shaft. Lovely. I'm down here with no armor. Less lovely. Okay. Cool. Um, cool. Well, I'm going to said grab some of this dripstone. <laughs> Ugh, there's no iron. There's no iron. There is a skeleton, though, so that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, yeah, all the beanies. Those vindicators hit hard. Now, it would have been a little bit nicer had I actually had my armor on. And instead, I um, had my elytra on. I and I had a totem of undying in my inventory. <laughs> That's zinc, unfortunately. It's not iron. Okay, so... Let's find ourselves a bed. Actually, 
lock him in there. Um, there are some skeletons. Where's the other farmer go? Oh, well, there's one in here, I know. Well, I only need two, so... <laughs> See if I can coax that other guy up in where I need him to go and, you know... <sighs> but I need iron. Okay, but that is kind of interesting, though, that I've got a mine shaft underneath me, because that means there could be uh, there could be any number of good things down there, which would be awesome. However, I don't know. Th I don't really want to kill the iron golem. <laughs> I mean. I mean, I kind of do, but he's going to protect my villagers for the moment, so I really probably should have trapped that other one in there. Oh, anyway, hopefully I've slept and it's safe, but since, it, again, it takes two villagers to breed and not just one, okay? This is uh, it's, it's sort of an important bit of uh, biology there, you know? Okay. Well, we'll just go down this way and hope. If I had some better gear, I'd go hit that mine shaft and see what I could find, but with no armor and I don't want to grab that copper. Yeah, with no armor, um, does make it a little bit of a ch ah iron perfect one two ah perfect okay uh crafting table so, all right grab some sticks flint knives are cool but let's worry about that in a little bit all right my stick is just in the way all right I hate it when my stick is in the way. It's just unfortunate. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the rest of this iron. Oh, this is great. This is great. I think it's, what, about seven or eight here? Cool. So I can craft a bucket and craft a hopper, which could be useful too. Up, up, up. It's hard. Going up is hard. <sighs> All right, nice. But having the dripstone is great because once I have a couple of buckets, or at least one bucket, I can scoop up some lava. Okay, good. Farmers are out there. He has seen better days. All right. But I can scoop up some lava and I can set up a lava farm as well, which is... Wonderful. All right. So let's go ahead and cook up that iron. Whew. Nice. And I think I'm going to take all but one of the... I'm going to take these two carrots. <laughs> and... Uh, those carrots, I think, are going to be the start of my breeding. I like to make the farms with carrots, but uh, there's always the possibility that, uh, especially because these guys are farmers, they're going to have their own set of whatever food they bring with them. Okay. I will, in fact, take that string. Thank you very much. Some arrows, also helpful. All right, guys. No, this is going to be wonderful. The trick is going to be to get these villagers where I want them. And all that good stuff. So, let's see. I'm going to need... Let's craft up a stone hoe. Puts a bunch of this other stuff I don't need right away up there. All right. 
Yeah, because I know where there's some lava, so this will be... That'll be great. Lava is a wonderful fuel source, so. Excuse me. Oh, man. Had a lovely dinner this evening. It was a nice uh, chicken potato casserole thing. A lot of onions on that. And uh, sort of paying for that now. Okay, so this is going to come right over here. Let's go ahead and start, slap that right on top of that. Okay, so the, uh, the fun, I suppose, if you want to call it that, is going to be trying to figure out how to get all of these villagers... Trying to find a nice drop shaft for them and I think I'm going to drop them kind of that way okay where's my carrots all right yep because again villager breeders are cool but you gotta kind of know where you want your villagers to end up going I know, and I'm one of those weird people who just has to farm everything, so. All right, and I'll probably figure out a roof to put on this thing too, but for now, let's see. Let's actually scoop. Yeah, we'll do it this way. We'll take that out for now. Um, if I bring the villagers this way. Take that water out for a minute. Um, because I need a spot for beds, and I need a spot for them to drop down. Let's maybe, let's actually maybe drop them down here. Okay. So if I make the bed space back this way. Yeah, villager breeders are really easy to set up, but Especially like this, which is a, you know, a self, uh, a self-powered one or a villager-powered breeder. They just will do nothing but eat and breed until I take away their beds. Which is, uh, just fine. Um, I don't think I, see, I'm going to need it to go. That's going to come out. That's going to come out. Beds are going to be here. Okay. So that's going to go that way. Awesome. Cool. Let's throw a little light on this. Like, I think maybe I'll put it up here. There. That'll... Tit, that wouldn't help anything at all. All right. So we'll just go ahead and bring this down this way. And then... Okay, so I need to bring the villagers up this way, so we'll... That's it. The mouse is starting to get to a point where I actually seriously need to replace it. I have the mouse and I have the replacements. I just... You know how hard it is? It's like, oh, I don't want to replace it. It kind of works, right? You know, and when, it, when it's working, I, I don't want to, like rock the boat or anything like that you know okay so beds are gonna go there um cool let's grab our handy dandy crafting table and get a couple of things here we're gonna grab a couple of trap doors actually just two trap doors and let's get a gate so the villagers can't open gates they can open doors, but they cannot open gates. Cool. So that's where the that that's gonna go. So let's drop this down to how far down? Is that Y seventy three? All right. Cool. Okay. And this is kind of why I wanted to put this down here because. This is just a really convenient spot for them. So, 
So they're gonna come down this way. Hello, pig. You're not a villager, but I'm sure you could play one on TV if you wanted to. All right. Um, and let's get... I left that crafting table up there, didn't I? I did. Cool. All right. Ah, uh, yeah. No, we'll get this. We'll totally get this um, eventually. All right. So we'll just slap a couple of uh, slabs in here. In all honesty, I think I actually only need it down the uh, first one, but we're okay. The next, the next trick is going to be to get villagers up this way and into beds where I need them to be, which means I'm going to need three beds and right. Okay. All right, well, let's see. I think what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and sleep. And we'll worry about that, getting the villagers into their beds tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, this should be all the fine, right? This is where I need a camel. <laughs> you know? Can I get a villager on a camel? All right, let's go ahead and get all of the beds out of these houses down here. Okay. Hi. Let's take your bed. And, uh, actually, let's see. Do I have... I don't actually have a workstation on me. Okay. Cool. And I'm going to... I don't really want to break my bed. As much as I would like to uh, just use that bed, I kind of need to not. So let's grab a little bit of wool from these sheep who uh, they won't need it anymore. You know, I was bouncing around ideas in the uh, subscriber channel on Discord with, uh, with, with uh, my Kofi subs and Talk about, oh yeah, what what can we name this series? It's like, oh, how about Going Organic? It's like, yes, that would be cool, except I'm gonna be doing all a bunch of stuff with machinery and I don't think organic is the way this is gonna go. <laughs> hey, Frog Hopper, welcome, welcome. I hope your day is going well. All right, so the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna start with a couple of beds in there. Hi. You know, if you f go up these stairs, there's a perfect place for you. Yeah, so we'll just, uh, just gonna close this for a moment. Yeah, we'll go and get some beds in here, just like, well, I'm gonna save this one. Oh, I also need to do I have another slab? I do have another slab. Actually, um, rather than a slab, let's do the trap door. I feel better about the trap door. I know the trap door works. Oops, axe, not pickaxe. I I am I know how these things work. I really do. Okay. Cool. All right. So let's. Get these guys in. It's not going to be pretty. I'll worry about pretty later. But for now, that may not be true. In true farmer fashion, I may not worry about pretty at all. I have a bunch of friends who are farmers. You know, it's sometimes it's like I, it doesn't matter as long as it works. It doesn't have to be pretty. Okay. Hopefully that'll make things easier once uh, sun sets. But let's go see. I've got, let's grab these composters that are over here. Also, I think I need to do a 
couple more trapdoors. That's good enough. Okay. Hey, gang. Let's, uh... What would be the easiest way to get them where I need them to be? Okay. Let's see. I think... Let's go this way. Oh, are you guys going to make it to baby? You're not going to make it to baby because there are... You don't have a de beds. No, the, the, the beds are all gone. Here, I will show you to the beds where you can make it to baby. Oh, yeah. You're going to love it. Okay. Okay. You guys, come this way. Oh, yeah. This is going to be great. So another one of those over there. Yep. Come with me. Yep. No, we got this. We got this. this way that's right hey yeah uh, okay fine we can I'll, I'll happily take you too we can this really is easier to do at night when they're uh, when they're tired and just looking for a place to sleep okay come on guys that's right just get a couple of, couple of you over here. Um, yeah, this way. Yep, that's right. You go find that crafting station. Grab another one. Right now, I was kind of hoping I could get, like, more of them. But I'm kind of okay if I just get one at a time. Yeah, don't fall down that hole. Because that would be awkward and uncomfortable for everyone involved, but mostly me. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to make this work. Totally going to make this work. Right? You're, you're going to come this way. And then... Here. Come down here. Yeah, preferably without getting too hurt. That would be awesome. All right. Nice. Cool. Now I'm going to bring you this way. Yep. Villagers are a lot easier to deal with when they've got... Um... Okay. Before I put him in there, I need to do a couple of things here. I need to place a block on top of this, and I need to place some trap doors here. Okay. Hi. No, you're going to love it here. This is just the place for you. There's carrots there. Oh, yeah. You're going to come up too? Uh, yeah, you're totally going to come up here too because I'm going to take your composter. And we're going to put it up here. Oops, that's not it. There we go. That's right. You're going to... Oi. Hey. Villager. <laughs> Look. There's a job. You're going to love it. Or not. Go up here. That's right. Go up there. Okay. There. Oh, the seeds are going to be all over the place. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now they won't be able to get out no matter what happens. Cool. Now comes the fun part of what the heck are they planting? I would rather them not do potatoes, to be honest. I want, would rather they do carrots. Okay. Sweets. Wheat's even worse. Oh, carrots are good. Yeah. Here. Carrots. But they've got potatoes and wheat in their inventory, so... So, yeah, that's going to be a, a thing. Also, can I? Yeah, we'll just put the torch up there. Wonderful. Yeah, no, see, it's just, this is great. Right? You're going to you're gonna have fun planting all of the things and making all of the babies, and it's going to be wonderful. That's right. It's going to be great. You'll, they'll, they'll love it. 
All right, in the meantime, I really do want to provide some form of roof for these guys. Just because I kind of feel like uh, I'd like to avoid the whole drop creeper situation, you know what I mean? And, you know, I don't know about you, but I find drop creepers to be really annoying. But also, I don't want um, zombies and stuff to accidentally walk in there. So, we're going to meander up here to this house. This is a good house. Okay. And let's grab a bunch of slabs. That's way too many slabs, but it's okay. And I want to put these on the bottom. Because bottom slabs are not spawnable. All right, now, as I said, I'm gonna to have to go in there a few times and just clean up the crops that they plant that I don't want them to. Because as I said, I really want them to just be dealing with carrots. Okay. When you've got wheat, you've got all the problems of uh, seeds and the wheat. Yes, they throw bread at each other and the bread sometimes works, but Okay. So this is good. So if I've got So if I've got dripstone, which I do, and if I have lava, which I know where to get. I said I've got myself a nice little uh Okay. Light levels are going to be should be pretty okay up here because of various things. I can set up a lava farm and have all of that fuel, which is going to be awesome. Oh, that's going to be very awesome. All right. Cool. So, I can't get down, but that's okay. We're fine. I think I have myself a nice little villager breeder here. Let's hop down this way. And yeah, just right through this gate, I'll free cam in so I don't disturb them for the moment. Now, it's going to be a little slow getting going. Because uh, they'll have to plant this out with carrots and, you know, get all of the happy food stuffs that they need. Oh, also, I need to go place one more bed in here because they need a third bed because nobody wants to share a bed with their kid because man, that just gets, oh man, if you ever, kids kick and stuff and they just squirm around and that's not great. So I wanna be sure that they've got plenty of beds and when they decide to uh, get it on and make the baby, the kid's got a place to wanna go jump on the bed and will instead fall down this hole, take a little bit of damage, but, not that much should be okay. So, in fact, if I wanted to put some hay bales down there, I think they'll take even less damage. So, we'll do that. But they'll drop down here, and we'll have villagers uh, as we need them. And that's going to be awesome. Okay, so there are a couple of hay bales over here. Yeah, there we go. And a cow. Okay, I just need the two. That's fine. Okay, and I think there's another farmer around somewhere. He's out doing farmer things. And that's cool. Alright, so yeah, let's just... Just slap a couple of hay bales there. And it's not going to be perfect, but it should... I think hay hay bales do minimize fall damage. I could be wrong, and I could just be, you know, sentencing all those kids to broken legs, but, you know, I think they'll be okay. I could also, I suppose, put a little water there, which would, might not be a bad thing, you know. Just, uh, there. 
<sighs> That'll keep them safe, I suppose. <laughs> Alright. Cool. So we've got all sorts of foods growing, which is great. Alright. So next, next thing I need to do is an iron farm. But I need three villagers for that, so... I think what I'm going to do, let me think about this for a minute. So I've got the villager breeder over here. And that's going to be right dropping those there. What I could do. So the trick is to get the iron golems to spawn in a spot and only in that one spot. Unfortunately, it's a big spot that they have to end up on. So, or they can end up on. Um, right. So, how do I want to do that? <laughs> now, often what, what you can do is like put it out over a river, like, like this one here, which is cool. Um, or you can put it up in the sky, which is what I did in, um, in Going Hard. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What is going to be the plan here? And I just don't know. I do not know. So, if, and I'm going to have villagers dropping down this way. So, All right, I think the easiest thing, because it has to be like eight blocks above ground and it has to be, or at least eight blocks above anything spawnable. I could, let's take a look at this for a minute. Now what I, the other trick is you want the, the iron golems to get away from the villagers as quickly as possible. So really what I'd like to do and, and you can do that in a couple of ways. One, you could just kill off the, the golems quickly, but um, which is fine. The other thing is to drop them down like 23 or 24 blocks. This might be an interesting option, actually. But I'm going to need beds. So let's go get some more. Hi. Uh, let's get some shears because I had had that extra iron. Let's grab a couple of shears. Okay, and then the other thing I should do is probably uh, be sure I've got food. <laughs> Um, yes, but let's, I'm going to need three beds, so. Okay, where did those sheep go? There's a sheep. And I said I've got a couple of sheep up top, too, so. Of course, I've got a couple of sheep in lots of different colors, as I recall, so. <laughs> Suppose I could breed them. Hey, we're doing okay here. But yes, I'm going to need three beds, so... We can... We can get those. That's right. So we've got... Okay, six white wool. That's great. Um... Wow, it's dark in there. That's not ideal. Okay. No, cool. <sighs> yeah, no, very cool. Uh there's there's some more sheep up here. We'll we'll just shear these guys. Right? Yeah. 
Hi, sheep. We're, we're going to get on just fine here, you and I, right? Okay, yes, I've, I've removed your warm clothing, but that's okay. Right? We're, we're good with that. Okay. That villager is just going to wander around and be there, I guess. All right. Cool. But I have now have plenty of white wool, so I can... Oh, so I can handle some other villagers. Now... Let's see. Where do I... Where do I want to set this up? Because I'll need the, the villagers and beds, and I'll need a place for a zombie. And then I'll need a place for the... Uh, yeah, a place for the killing chamber. Let's see. I'm kind of thinking I maybe want to drop them this way. That might be... Good. So if I were to set them up here, ah, oh, getting the villagers from down there to up here, doable, but a real pain in the neck. Okay. So, so let's see, how do I want to do this? All right. So I think what I want to do is I want to set up beds. And I left my crafting table in that house. Awesome. Yeah, no, this is fine. We'll just walk down the roof. It'll be great. And we'll be able to get back up again, but still. Okay. Um, oh, cheese monkeys. I'm going to need uh, more logs. Also, let's go and take this bed. Not gonna need it down here. But yeah, I kinda like the idea of putting it up there. And yeah, then dropping the iron golems. I mean, I guess I could drop them down here. But I, because I've got the villagers right under here, that would make the collection system interesting. What's what's on the other side of this wall? Oh, not a whole lot. Okay. So yeah, actually, so maybe dropping them down right over here into this area might not be a bad idea. All right. Well, that's doable, I suppose. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we'll just have to drop them down into something, but... Yeah, cool. <laughs> it's raining. That's wonderful. All right, so I really am going to want a little bit nicer way up here if I'm going to put iron golems here. What if let's let's do this? Let's just dig through this way, and we'll I can, I can set up storage on the other side of this wall. That seems like a, a good thing, right? Well, it might take about six weeks to get there, but it's okay. It should be totally fine. And we've got some of this lovely... What is this stuff? Crimsite? All right. Yeah, Crimsite? Yeah, it's just directional. Okay, cool. I would like to see the... Where does that come out? I could be just digging straight into this. Okay, so I should be... Oh, what Y level am I on? Y75? This is... This over here is Y78. 80. Right, right. Okay. Well, that's not ideal. Okay. Cool. Um, 
Yeah, going up. Okay, there's grass. Perfect. Okay, cool. So, kind of want storage for... Yeah, I could just put iron storage, like, right here. Alright, now, this will this will make some sense. I could potentially then tie it into some other things. But I kind of like this idea. Now, and once I have iron, then I can do some really fun stuff. I should also... I think there's an ocean in the not too distant region. That's just a big flipping river over there. But, uh... said so there's a ocean not too far away. If I pack a lunch, I might be able to make it to the ocean and maybe get some... Uh, maybe get some kelp. Alright. So if I want to bring this down this way somewhere... Okay. I can do that. Okay, no, this should be great. Oh, man, it's going to be all sorts of good stuff, but I have to get the uh I have to get the basics in place first. All right, so let's see. So what basically what I want to do is I want to drop them down here somewhere. I have to go get some more food. Cool. Um, yeah. Clean off a lot of space. Get this to flush down somewhere, and then this should be great. Alright. Um, yeah. Where was that... Where was that hole I was digging? Right here. So this is... What is this? Looking at block is not quite... Okay. This is not behaving the way I expect it to. Okay, I may have to configure tweak root, but I am standing right over it, so... So somewhere right down here. Okay. So somewhere down this way. All right. That's great. So something like this. There's no possible way I'm going to fall down that hole and, you know, hurt something. Not even, I'm sure, a little bit. Okay, so... So the way I'd want to do this then is... If I set up a bed... Set up three beds, right, say here. One, two, three, this way. Um... I need wood for the rest of the beds, but if I were to set up beds here, the zombie would be out this way. I'd obviously put a roof of some sort over the whole smash. And, uh, and then if I were to dig out and spawn proof this area so that, uh, golems can only spawn where I want them to spawn, then I could just flush them down and drop them right down into this hole right here that I said I wasn't going to drop into. But obviously, obviously, that was not going to happen. I was going to fall into that hole whether I wanted to or not. All right, so let's go and gather up this wheat because I'm definitely going to do that. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think I can. I think I can make these miracles happen. Oh, I can make raw pasta. Awesome. I like pasta, but there's not a lot I can do with the raw pasta, right? I mean, at least I can make raw pasta, and then I know I can. Oh, right, a cutting board. Right, to stuff. But it's an ingredient in a lot of things. I just don't remember what. There's like, um, oh, like squid ink pasta, right, uses it. And um, 
probably other pasta dishes. Yeah, so... Alright. Let's get out here. I've got some farms. Let's, uh... Expand this out here a little bit. Okay, yep. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, that's right. Riley was very good to remind us all that uh, Live Laugh Llama merch. That's, uh, oh, can't really see it. That one, the Live Laugh Llama merch is available over in the merch store, store.musicfreegaming.com. And it's only going to be available for another week. Say it, its availability ends on, uh, well, basically at the end of the month. So if you want to get in on the Live Laugh Llama fun and excitement, uh, you only have like a week left to do it. So, so yeah, good times, good times. It's also available in purple, if purple's your thing. It's, right now it's got the blue text up there, but if you like purple, 100% you can get it in uh, purple too. Ooh, okay, let's uh, be sure I'm hitting the right buttons. Awesome. I'm not, but... Uh... Okay, looks like night is falling. And All right, so let's see. One, two, three, four. Could put this here, but then that last... Well... As long as it's, uh, there's some here somewhere. All right, I think that was the middle. Yeah. You gotta be sure there's plenty of light, otherwise uh, the crops don't grow. And we'd really like to uh, avoid that problem. I would like these crops to grow. Okay. Awesome. All right, let's get those carrots out of there. We'll harvest all of this wheat. Oh yeah, this is, I definitely need to get my first, some form of automated food going because harvesting all of this is going to be, it's unpleasant. Okay. It's not, you know, hard. It's just unpleasant. And, you know, no farmer wants to go out in his field, you know, you know, just all, uh, and harvest his fields all by hand, you know. You gotta get yourself a tractor or something, right? Okay. Okay, okay. We can... We can do this, right? I think so. I think we've got stuff. Got some beetroots, seeds, so lots of carrots. I think I might take some of these carrots up to the villagers and help them grow their field a little bit. Okay. Also, I think I've got enough wood here, too, that I can... Ouch. That I can make the beds I need to make. Okay. Okay. Get rid of the potatoes. Here, guys. Have some carrots. I don't know if spreading them out makes any difference at all. He still has a little wheat. Yeah, he still has a couple of non-carrot seeds, but... I think it'll be okay. Yeah, right? This will be fine. It'll be perfectly fine. My only concern is that actually those villagers might be too close to the beds. And may not release them. If that's the case, I may have to run them over here somewhere. So, we'll... I guess we'll figure that out in a little bit. But once they really start 
uh, getting their their uh, their breeding going. Okay, right. I was I was making an iron farm. I know what I'm doing. I was making an iron farm. Yep, and centers. Not gonna be a lot pretty with this uh, iron farm, but. We'll, we'll go with it. Um, we'll take this chest just because. All right. Um, I need all of that. How did I get up there? This way. I know there's a way up and around and all this stuff, but I just can't remember what it is. Yeah, and actually what I probably should do uh, is make sure that we're a few blocks higher than this area here as well. But So yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let, we'll bring this up a couple of, oops, that's the wrong, wrong tool. Okay. So yeah, so we'll bring these villagers right up this way. Crafting table, craft up a couple more beds. Okay, it's gonna bug me if I leave the, just the one yellow bed on the outside. It's like, no, I, I can't do that. I've got to, so that's going the wrong way. And that's just in the wrong place. Cool. All right, so we'll put them up here. Up here. Hmm. Actually, that's an interesting question. Um. So I want the golem to drop down this way. Now it'd be faster because it will basically spawn. Um, I was gonna say basically it could it'll end up spawning above the villagers or perhaps behind them if I want to. Hmm. Right, because let's see if I put the zombie over here. Right, Z zombie's gonna be here, right? Something like that. These guys can go over this way. Yeah, I said I'll have to pave the area here so that the zombies don't, or the iron golems don't spawn in it, but. It's definitely an idea. It's weird when you have ideas and then it's like, what am I going to do with this stuff, right? Yeah, because I could just pave over all of this right zombie be there i could actually could actually lower this then i don't know if you've ever lofted a bed and then had to de-loft it that's kind of what's happening here you know it's just going to be lots of ups and downs okay so the zombie's there we've got about three blocks so this is oops, with the yellow bed there white beds will go around the outside like this okay crafting table crafting table there we go yes it's that part of the okay oh, so i was gonna say am i totally out of stuff no yeah, it's that part of the early game where it's like, okay, got to be sure I have this crafting table with me so uh, I can, you know, do things. Okay, so the villagers will be in here scared to death. The zombie will be here. Um, and then, yeah, let's, I mean, should we make this, you know, pretty and stuff? <laughs> 
should I set up a lava farm? You know, of course, with a lava farm, I need a cauldron and I don't think I have enough iron for a cauldron yet. So that's going to have to wait. All right, but let's go see what we can do. Yeah, so if I put this up here, build a spawning area up top and just flush the iron golem down this way where it was at. Yeah, I could just flush them right down here. So if this, and I could actually start the spawning area back here. So I don't have to worry about quite so much about water. It basically needs to go, and water can flow like eight blocks, but I really only want it to go like five so that uh, they end up dropping down in the right spot. So, so yeah, so somewhere. Yeah, somewhere right about here, I think. Right, I think that was kind of the idea. All right, so yeah, if I drop them down here and I have to be real careful about how I do that but if I do I can drop them down into a lovely lava pit I might even be able to uh, flow them over somewhere here but I kind of want this to be up high enough so I could oh darn it <laughs> I kind of want it to be here high enough that uh, I could eventually, you know, basically just drop them onto hoppers and feed a nice little storage array that, you know, with the hoppers. Okay, it's not. I want to want an iron pickaxe, but not right this instant. So, all right, so where was that hole? It was right kind of here-ish. Okay. So it looks like basically this way. All right. So if I decide to drop these iron golems right down here. Okay, basically, let's grab some torches. Or, hey, maybe let's make some torches. That, okay. Make some torches. There we go. That's going to be my drop chamber. Yeah, so if I just flush them along, let them drop right down here. All right, and so basically I need to have them stop right here. Okay. Right. Well, that makes sense. Because if I drop them onto there, or do I want it to go up one block higher? Doesn't really matter, I suppose. Um, as long as they're, as long as I hit the lava and have fun with the Bernie Bernie, we should be okay. At least that's the theory. <laughs> okay. Well, just put some bread and stuff in there. This will be... Oh, yeah. This will make all the sense in the world. At least that's the theory. All right. Yeah, so the fun part is going to be getting the uh, getting the zombie where I would need him to go, but it's okay. And the villagers. All right. The villagers I think I can do, but it's going to be... I think it's going to be a, a water column, right? Oh, hi. I have nothing to trade trade with you, but 
what do you have that's useful here? Some blue ice. That's not bad. Uh, smokes. Uh, no. I'm playing in a uh, single-player world. But I uh, hope you're having a, a fabulous day despite that. Let's go see if I have enough wood stashed somewhere that I can craft a boat. All right. There we go. There we go. Stick you in a boat. Or not. You're going to rock walk away. That's fine. I just want your leads, okay? I don't care about the llamas. I just want the leads. Okay. This one. And yes, I could kill the llamas, but... It's just as easy to uh, get them in boats and... To be honest, it's a little bit safer, so... Just get out of the way. Okay. Ah! Itchy nose! Itchy nose! Alright, where did the... Okay, it's the brown llama. Alright, cool. Hey, brown llama! Llama llama. Perfect. Okay. Cool. You can all now go wherever it is you want to go, but I just wanted your leads. Okay. Cool, because that'll make, uh, won't make getting villagers places any easier, but it will make getting uh, animals in places, which I'm all for. All right, so let's make our way over here. And, I don't know, what tree do I want to make this out of? I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? I think maybe I'll go with the the uh, oak. How's it going there, Joey? Welcome in. Hope your day is going well. Yeah, we're gonna get, and yeah, we'll definitely need more jeez, we'll definitely need more logs than that, but gotta start somewhere. And I think what I'm gonna have to do is take a little bit of a check and just see where the heck uh the ocean is. So what I'm doing right now is just getting resources. Um, I'm gonna, I'm building an iron farm. So I know it's not going to... I'm not really going to be able to populate it until I get... Um, uh, until my villager breeder is fully up to speed, but... At least that's the uh, initial plan, is to... Okay, I've got the... I've got the villager breeder built gotten villagers in it. I just have to wait for them to uh, farm up enough stuff to start feeding themselves and you know, making all the babies. But I need, I need uh, let's try this again. I need a nice place for a, an iron farm and since it's actually going to be visible, which the villager breeder kind of isn't, I thought maybe I would actually try to decorated a little bit, you know, it's, I know, weird, right, but, okay, and I don't think I, I play solo, yes, I do, yeah, it turns out you are able to play Minecraft solo, it's cool, all right, I am, I think there's more tree than I have axe. But, yep. That is definitely how that works. Cool. Alright. Well, then that is fine. Also, I should maybe get a little more bamboo. It would be nice to set up a bamboo farm, too, but... I need iron before I can do any of this, right? I'm in day nine, right? I should. 
How long does it take you to build an iron farm? Well, apparently nine days. It's because I built the villager breeder first. And I didn't do, like, impulse SVs, combination, iron farm, and villager breeder, right? Which is a lovely, lovely design, but... Yeah. Okay, so well, this should be good. I should actually plant a few more oak trees. Oops. Hit the wrong button. It happens. I should probably plant a few more oak trees over here just for uh, simplicity's sake and ease of access. Okay. Oh, it'd be so nice when I get some iron and I get some kelp. Because then I'll be able to start getting at least some of the basic um, create contraptions built. And I can just set up a, a little automated tree farm over here. That would be nice. And <laughs> you know, all that good stuff. Ugh, because create mod is good for all that good goodness, right? All right. Um, right. How did I get up there? Uh, I'd like a saddle too. I've got all of these horses. It might be I'm so I haven't talked to you a lot about about my goals and stuff for this series, right? So it's a create mod series. Um, where I'm going to be using Create Mod to craft all of the uh, foods from Farmer's Delight. But I think, as part of this, I think I'm going to sort of ban myself from the end. So there's going to be no Elytra. And obviously that also means no Shulker Boxes, but, you know, I can kind of live with that. Or I think I need to do it this way. Four. So, so yeah, so that's going to be interesting. Oops, well, bummer. Come on, I can do it. I'm capable. I am a capable human being. So, yeah, so all of my transportation is going to have to be, be by horse or by train or a, any number of similar things, right? All right, so let's see, the zombie's going to be here, which is great. I suppose what I should do is, let's see. Okay, I remember how this works, kinda. Okay, so he's gonna, going to need to stand on something. So let's get a thing here and we'll craft up a thing. Okay. So he's going to stand on that. We'll uh, run some water that way. Okay. And then, so the zombie will be all bouncy, bouncy right there, which is great. And we'll just pop this up here. So Right, the zombie will stand there, and I, then I think I need to worry about vision and all of that stuff, but let's go ahead and block that way. And I think maybe what I should do is maybe I'll cook up a little bit of uh, something. Maybe I'll cook up a little bit of stone and, you know, so I can get some... Uh, stone brick walls or something. I think that might work. So I don't think I can go from cobblestone to stone um, in a stone cutter. I think I have to take it to stone first and then I could use a stone cutter if I wanted to. Come on, sleep into bed. Dinkies. All right, yeah, getting these uh, Getting the mobs up here is going to be its own special breed of fun, I got to tell you. 
All right, so that'll definitely be uh, all slabbed over. Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, I'll have to figure out a couple of things just to be sure that the villagers are trapped in their happy little home of fear. Yeah, that's that's always a special breed of fun. Uh, okay, lava. Now, as I recall, let's get out this way. There was a little lava pool out here in this jungle somewhere. Wasn't that far in, I think. I think it's this way a little bit. Oh, that's great. We've got some sugar. I've got some pumpkins out here. If I see some melons, I, I should pick those up, too. So not that I'm going to need them right away, but a number of the recipes require melon seeds. So let's see. I think somewhere in this jungle, somewhere. Yeah, I think somewhere in this jungle there's a lava pool. Just kind of sort of hanging out. Or maybe not. Oh, it's chocolate. Let's grab some chocolates. Again, I'm not going to need it right now. But I will need it in the eventually times. Hello, parrot. Okay, that's not lava, that's water. Um, ah, that was free cam up, take a look. Did I lose it somewhere? Oh no, I'm just way in the wrong part of the jungle. Awesome. Ah, it's a good thing that the parrots are not needed for the recipes, otherwise I would be, uh, well, no, I probably wouldn't be catching and cooking the parrots. The chicken, on the other hand, that's a separate story. We are absolutely going to be dealing with some cooked chicken. But, hey, how's it going? Happy birdie. Let's see, was it this way? It's one of those things that would be easier to see at night, but I don't want to be out at night, so... Ah, there's the pool. Okay, cool. All right, cool. We'll grab some, grab a little bit of lava. Nice. I'm, I'm going to have to come back here and get some more, but oh, once I get enough iron to uh, craft up, where's my boat? There's my boat. Here, I'm going to, let's just, Throw a couple of torches over here so that I kind of know how to get back to this lava. Right? Just kind of this way? Yeah. Okay, perfect. And for those of you wondering, I do have uh, fire tick off in this world, so the lava is not going to spread to the trees and things. Okay. Nice. So, we've got ourselves some got ourselves some lava. We're going to throw in the furnace and we'll cook up some of this stone. Okay. Now, I don't know if I'm being this a little fast or you know, but okay, let's put stone in and let's where it's like, okay, I'm trying to build this up too quickly. I don't not uh you know, maybe I should should take a little more time and but yeah, kinda no. I'm I'm good. Really like to get the breeder and the iron farm up and running at least uh 
a little bit here before, before I get too far. And yeah, I'm gonna have to check. Cause I think, yeah, cause it said there is an ocean somewhere nearby. I just need to go look up the coordinates again. In fact, let me, yeah. Uh, we'll step inside. We'll let that cook. And let me just pull up chunk base here real quick and just see where the heck the ocean was. All right. So let's see, I am somewhere. Okay. Ocean is actually the ocean's a little ways away. I was thinking it was closer. Okay. Um Okay, so let's see. We've got stuff. Where the heck am I? Five fifty nine, that would be this one. Okay. So Yeah. Okay, so let's see. It looks like if I were to grab my boat. Hello, boat. Because, yeah, I'm. Did I leave it? Ah, right, there it is. It's like, where did I leave it? He's a gun. My boat is gone. Okay, so somewhere on the other side of my hill, there's a, uh, there's another river, which uh, if I sail, it looks like northeast that way. Northeast, yeah. I don't know. Looks like maybe it's on, it's on the this side. All right. Well, once uh, the sun sets, oh, he looks so majestic up there on the hill. Oh, the majesty, the power, the grace, the it's a Minecraft horse. I, what more can you say, right? That that's just what it is. Okay. Awesome. So let's, uh, yeah, we'll sleep and I'll maybe take this river and we'll head northeast and see if we, I can't find that, uh, that ocean because that would be great. Also, I think I'm going to tear down most of these buildings that are in here too. Just because I, uh, so the way I'm envisioning this, just while I'm waiting for the world to uh, fall asleep, is I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this inner circle area and basically use this area for storage, right? This is where my storage room is going to be. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer on top of it a layer of glass and a pond, right? Because I think that that will just kind of look cool, right? And then this will be the entrance into the, the storage room. Maybe I'll have something out that way. But that will be the thing. So this is sort of where my, my, my base, if you want to put it that way. So I kind of agree with Tango Tech. I don't have bases. I have storage rooms. That's <laughs> it's sort of sort of how it goes. Uh, but I'll set up the storage in here and then I'll set up another ring of, I don't know, maybe some simple machines, something like that. But when I get up further up, that's where I'm going to start setting up farms for, um, uh, for vegetables of various types. I also need to set up some farms for, for animals, but that's 
that can wait. <laughs> right? Partly because I need the food. Right, so I have to set up, like, a carrot farm so I could breed pigs and a wheat farm so I can breed cows, sheep, and chickens. Right? And I can do all of that automatically, which is going to be fine. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. So I think... So I need to go... All right, let's just double check chunk base here. Make sure I know which way I'm going. Um, so let's see. I've got. So that's there. If I go up this way. Yeah, I think it's actually this river right here. So. I'm going to go on a quest to find some kelp. Now, I have to admit that I've, I've been checking chunk base. I'm not above all of that uh, cheaty goodness. But if I follow this river to the northeast, which means sort of this way, right? I think this takes me to an ocean. Oh, got some more wild onions, which is great. Once I... Uh, get those planted everything will be wonderful too but if i follow this this way then i should be able to get to the ocean i can collect some kelp and then make my way back and everything will be lovely or at least that's the plan wow you really know how to get yourself banned don't you okay we will just uh take care of that right now All right, so moving on. Let's take a look. Just quick look around. So I, just, I don't think it's that far. Is it this way? I'm not sure. We'll find out. I'm okay. That was a weird bush, but we'll we'll go with it. It's either this fork or it's the other fork, but we'll get there. Bees. Uh, definitely need to get some bees, too. But I know how to get bees, so... You know, that's, that's just plant trees near flowers. And bees just sort of happen. All right, um, hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to double check where this ocean actually is. It's at, wow, 1,300, so, at 15. So, okay, I've, I've got a little ways to go. A lot of jungle going on out here, though, which is great. Actually, it would be really good because uh, jungle trees are... Ah, nice. Oh, and turtles. And we have made it out here to the ocean, and this is great. So we've got some jungle trees, or jungle trees, yep. Got some turtles there, which is awesome. Got some kelp, which is even more awesome, so let's go get that. But there were some plants there on the shore that I did not recognize. So let's swing over here, and let's just see what's happening over here what are these yellow flowers that are hanging out here by the turtles these are wild cabbages oh nice so i've got some cabbage seeds oh this is perfect this is perfect because i'm going to need cabbages for well some something that uses cabbage <laughs> i don't know what but something but it's good to know there are some turtles out here so that I can get turtley things. I don't know what turtley things I would need to get, but maybe, uh, I mean, I could try to breed them for helmets, but I don't think I really need to. So we'll just go with this and at the very least, I'm excited I got some cabbage. That might be the only time in my life I, I actually say that, but, you know, 
what can I say? I'm not a, the biggest fan in the world of cabbage. <sighs> but, hey, there are lots of good recipes here in uh, Farmer's Delight that use cabbage, so I need to have some, right? There are 94, I think, uh, recipes that I want to automate, so, and that I want to actually create, so... Nope, those are onions. I was hoping they were like peonies or something, but they're not. Ah, okay. That was a successful trip. I'm happy about that. So I think this goes this way, I hope. Uh, oh, don't tell me I ended up in the wrong branch of this river but we'll find out I, I I didn't plant uh breadcrumbs along the sides here which was probably a mistake that was the one thing I really liked when I was in um in my hardcore world before that one died a horrible agonizing death um what is these but I really liked the cherry blossoms. Now, I've just been sailing here and I found this. What is this? Wild rice. Okay. Um, nice. I wonder if I can, or how or if or whatever. I, I'm sure I can plant that. I wonder if the, the rice seeds or if I actually have to get. Well, that's why I left that one there. So. All right, well, this is good. I'm getting more uh, more and more goodness here. And I believe this is home. So, sweet. All right, well, that was a successful trip. All right, so I need to, to uh, plant some of this kelp, first of all, so that it will, uh, it will grow. All right. Because, as I said, I want to uh, breathe. I want to breathe. Breathing is good. Um, but I'm going to need kelp for a couple of reasons. One, I'm going to need it for belts. But two, I'm going to need kelp for uh, a water elevator, which will work great for the villagers. Not so great for the... Um, for the zombie. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. Okay, so it does work. Plant the rice in the water. Looks like I've got myself a little rice patty going on over here. So we'll let that grow and see what we get. And I have no idea how to actually harvest the rice, so. That is a tall piece of uh, sugar cane. Awesome. Well, I'm definitely going to need sugar too, but I think the way I'm going to get sugar is not from sugar cane, but from honey. Because I think honey is going to be easier to automate, but I need bees to do that, so. Ah, awesome. So the kelp's going to grow. All right, we'll let this wheat grow up a little bit more. All right, so let's see if this uh, furnace is, well, it's not done smelting, but it's definitely smelting. Cabbage seeds, awesome. I think, let's, okay, so I've, wild plants, there's, okay, sandy shrub, that's not food. Um, so wild cabbage, which we now have, wild onion, which we have, tomatoes, we've got tomato seeds, We've got carrots. We've got potatoes. I don't I think we've got beets, so we don't need the sea beets. And we've got and we've got rice. So what we don't have are the mushroom colonies, but that's okay. Um, I think we can get that some other way, but I have no idea what that, that is. The a rice panicle, but okay. 
But whatever it is, we're kind of doing okay here. Nice, nice, nice. So, yeah, so let's, actually, let's take a look real quick. What sort of foods can I make with rice? Um, not, eh. rice. I know there are recipes, so I don't want to compost it. Rice bales and rice panicles. How do I get? So one of those go becomes rice. Okay, great. Um, cool. So I've got like, okay, fried rice. I definitely uses rice. Okay, and I'm sure... Was like a kelp roll. Okay, that's rice and carrots and, and dried kelp. Okay. I don't know. I may, might need to go find a mod that tells me, hey, here's how much uh, health all of this stuff gives you. Okay, yeah, and see, look, you can make cool things like here's a bacon sandwich or a hamburger or, you know, bacon and eggs. Right? All of this seems delicious and tasty. So, yeah, we're going <laughs> to definitely have to figure all of this stuff out. All right. I think at this point, it is just about time for me to be calling it a day. But I want to head over here to my villager breeder. And these guys are probably probably have not uh, made a baby yet. I do want to come up here and make sure that they're only dealing with carrots. Yep. It's carrots. Yep. It's all carrots. Looks like we're okay. He's got some wheat, but you can't plant wheat. He's got some wheat seeds, but I don't think he's planting anything, so... Okay, so I'm just going to help things along here just a little bit. All right, we'll just, just uh, spread the carrot love here just a, just a bit. So I can get a, honestly, I just need more of it growing so that they, uh, so that these villagers can, you know, harvest it and eat faster, but. Cool. All right. Well, I think this is going to be a good place to stop. Um, oh, progress is definitely being made, even though it's we've got a got a long ways to go, and we need to start getting some infrastructure in place. But this is good. I also need to take a look. What do I need? I do know I need um, a lot of andesite, which I don't think I have at the moment, but like if I come over here to create, right? Yeah, those are andesite alloys, which is basically andesite and iron. Cogwheels, okay. So yeah, I need iron before I can do any of the fun stuff. Okay, yeah. All right, that's gonna be good. What do I need for a sa uh, sale, a... Um, Windmill. Windmill is wheat, andesite alloy, or wheat, wool, andesite alloy, and stuff. Okay, sticks. Cool. So, yeah, most of this is should be, right? And then water wheels. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's planks and a, okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, not a big deal. Planks and a and an andesite shaft, but again, the shafts are gonna take some uh, some doing, right? Because I need basically I need andesite and iron nuggets, which I don't have. I mean, I've got a little bit of iron, but not enough to right. I only have these four ingots, which is not enough to really get uh, 
going with all of that. So, all right. Anything else I want to smelt while the fire is still hot? Actually, I think I've got some food here. So let's let's go ahead and cook this uh, this mutton as well. All right. But as I said, this is a good place to be stopping. So I definitely want to thank all of you for hanging out with me today. This has been lots of fun. I want to, uh, of course, point you over at my socials, at Music Free Gaming on you know, YouTube and Instagram, obviously YouTube, but Instagram and TikTok, Tumblr, all that good stuff. Um, join the Discord. We can chat about stuff after, you know, between streams and all that good stuff. And next stream will be Thursday, 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, where hopefully I'll be able to get this iron farm at least built, <laughs> even if I can't get all of the uh, villagers in place yet. But it'll be good. So until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music for Gaming signing off.